In this screencast, I will demonstrate for my friend Phil how to set up an RSS uh, subscription or a, an account and the subscriptions uh, in Thunderbird. If you'll notice, when you first start Thunderbird, there is a link right here that will take you to the web page that describes how to do what I'm about to show you how to do. If you don't see this when Thunderbird starts, you can click on Tools and then Options. And you'll see here, you can put a check when Thunderbird launches, show the start page in the message area. So that will get you to that page so that you would see this link right here. But I'm not going to bother to go to the, the to take you to that page to, about how to do this. I'm just going to show you. So what I'll do is I'll click on File and then New. And I'm going to choose Account. That will bring up the account wizard. And in the account wizard, I want to choose the middle one, which is RSS and News and Blogs, and click Next. Now, it proposes a name for this. It proposes News and Blogs, but I've already got an RSS feed, so I'm going to call this one Demo RSS, and click Next. And it will have created that account name, and all I have to do is click Finish. Now the demo RSS account appears here. In order to add an RSS feed to it, what I've got to do is right click and choose manage subscriptions. But I need to get a subscription somewhere first. So I have to transfer from this to uh, an RSS feed somewhere on the web. So I'm going to pause this while I get to that page. So here I'm at the BBC uh, Entertainment section, and the icon right here, that red or orange looking thing that has RSS in it, if I right click on the link, I can choose Copy Link Location, which is going to copy that link to the clipboard. And then I return to Thunderbird. And in Thunderbird, I right-click on Demo RSS, Manage Subscriptions, the top item. And that brings up the Manage Subscription dialog box. I must then click Add to add an, a subscription. And then paste what I've copied to my clipboard into that space and click OK. And what it does is it verifies the RSS feed and then it begins downloading the articles that I've not read from that feed. The advantage of RSS is that it goes out and searches the web for things and brings them back into your reader. Now it has completed that process, so I'm going to close this window. And I can go back over here and click on the BBC News Entertainment item that I picked up. Now you see all these items in bold indicates, each one of those indicates that uh, there's an article that is not yet read. So I'm going to click on the one here and what it will do is it will pull in that article in the window below so that I can read it. And there is the article that I clicked on. So that's how you add an RSS feed. Now, you, the thing to look for in web pages is that RSS icon, the orange thing that says RSS. Or it may say XML, but nevertheless, you use the same thing. Copy the link, go to your RSS account, and add the link. And then after that, uh, articles from that page will come in whenever you want to read them. If you should have questions about this, you're welcome to give me a call. And that concludes this particular presentation.